I think my health's fairly good. I try and exercise regularly. I try and eat a fairly balanced diet. Uh, not perfect, of course, and you know, it's important just to have a balance in life. That's the most important thing. I qualified in August of 2015. I've just been just over three years now, uh, and then I spent five years at the medical school before that. I will be going back to A&E. Um, I need to go and speak to my consultants about when to do that and, and how to do that. Um, but I'm very excited to work, work back within the hospital as well as hopefully using the platform for good things. I really enjoy the human contact. You meet so many people from different walks of life and you're in this incredible position that hopefully you can help them. Uh, and I think that's the most rewarding part for me. <laughs> Curing broken heart isn't easy. You need time. Apparently that's what does it, time. Eczema is often a, a condition that can last for a long time, so you, you generally you live with it. Uh, and you can use many things like moisturise, emollients and things to help your skin, but it's something you should see your GP about if you are suffering with it. So diet is a very good way of, of doing that. Um, it's important also to check your baseline levels, what, what is your cholesterol? Uh, and you should do that with the GP. If it's very high, they can start a tablet called a statin to help with your cholesterol level. Uh, uh, you need to work hard at school and try and get as many as you can and, uh, and don't give up, you know, it's an important thing, you know, anyone can do it, you've just got to focus and work hard. So flu is actually caused by a common viral illness and actually the good news is your body sorts it out itself. So plenty of fluid, drink plenty of water uh, and take regular uh, painkillers over the counter and, you know, just take your time, it'll get better. Stop being flirty. Gosh, I need to learn how to be flirty first, apparently. But uh, um, yeah. <laughs> try and find yourself a girlfriend, I guess, then you'll need to be. It very much depends what the lump is. Uh, without seeing that and examining you fully, uh, I can't advise you. I would tell you to go and see the GP to get checked out, make sure everything's okay. I'm sure it will be.